name is Bob Harvey, and uh, I'm a prostate cancer survivor. I'm 72 years of age, and uh, I, I was very fortunate in that up until the age of 65, I had never had any problem with ED. And uh, my wife and I actually were high school sweethearts, so we, we started going out when we were 16, and so we had a very long and wonderful sex life until I was 65 when I was diagnosed with prostate cancer. Uh, I was diagnosed in January of 2004. I had the radical prostatectomy in uh, February of 2004. And after which, even though it was a nerve-sparing prostatectomy, I was unable to achieve an erection after the prostatectomy. I spent a number of, I researched the coloplast uh, penile implant uh, very well. You know, my background's in the sciences, so I'm very, <laughs> probably, probably over-researched, let's say. But I attended seminars, and uh, I felt very good about it. But I wasn't ready to move ahead until in November of 2007, I had the opportunity to speak with two men who had had it done. And I spoke with them in November, and I had my uh, implant done December 13th. So I, I immediately knew it was the real thing. Because even speaking with, like, Dr. Sadeghi, who's one of the leading experts in the field, I mean, I knew he knew what he was talking about, other than he couldn't tell me how it felt to have it. But when I spoke to the men, and they, would, they shared their experience with me as to how it affected their lives and how it really felt, I, I knew that it was real, and I, I said, well, you know, I have to be stupid not to, to go ahead with it, you know. And so I did, and, uh, it, you know, it's, it's worked out very, very well. My recovery was, well, I mean, I, again, I never sugarcoated for the guys. You know, you're going to have some soreness, and you're going to have, you know, some pain, not, nothing severe. Uh, but my recovery was, was very, it went very well. I'd say it was uh, about seven weeks. But I see, I had, when, when, I, when I was going for the implant, uh, Dr. Sadeghi noticed a bulge in my abdomen. So he wanted me to go to the, the chief of vascular surgery, to, uh, Dr. Napolitano at Hackensack. And I did. And he said, well, you have a hernia, <laughs> you know, abdominal wall hernia. I said, okay, well, do that first, then I might have the implant. So he said, how would you like to have it all done under one anesthesia? I mean, I didn't even mention it. I, it was like, Kim, I said, my God, wonderful. And so they did under one anesthesia. Dr. Sadeghi did the implant, and Dr. Napolitano, uh, you know, did put the mesh and repaired the hernia. And even with that, I was back in the gym in seven weeks. And I mean, I, 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 I mean, I, I, of course, I cut my weights way back and everything that I usually work with. But I was back, and by, uh, I would say, in three months, I, I was back to I was back to full working with full weights. I don't have to say, well, am I going to get an erection? I know I'm going to get an erection. Yeah, you know, if I had a couple of drinks, which I don't drink anyway, but but but, but if you have a couple of drinks, or you know whatever whatever the reason, you're going to get an erection because this is a mechanical device and it doesn't care if you've had a couple of drinks. <laughs> Oh, it's like night and day. And, and the one thing, and, and you know, I know I can't be the only one, and fellas that I mention it to, they, 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 they admit it. You know, guys don't like to talk about, uh, you know, having ED. They, they just don't like to talk about it. But when they're sitting down with somebody who's been through it and, and can relate to what they're going through, I said, you know what I miss the most? I said, it was the emotional intimacy I had with my wife, you know, with your partner. Because... You know, normally you, you want to give her a hug, give her a kiss, but you tend not to do that. It's, just, it, it's a very gradual withdrawal because you're saying, well, okay, we, I give her a kiss, but then what happens? And you know nothing happens if, if you have ED. And you tend to withdraw so that situation doesn't come up. And you miss it, and you feel very guilty because you know your wife or your partner misses it. Because I think in general, you know, women are are more emotionally, uh, you, know, uh, you know, than men. And I, that was a big part of it, you know, and, 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 you know, being able to regain that, and, you know, you take it for granted, you know, but from the time you're 15, 16, 14, you know, somewhere around there, 
you take an erection as you know a right a right that's given to you that you're always going to have, and then when it's gone, I mean it's it's just an amazing difference. You you tend to withdraw into yourself. You 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 feel you really don't feel you know you you really you, you question your own manhood. I mean I did you know and, and I, I I know other guys when they get honest they they tell me the same thing. You really do question it. And uh, you know when you and then when you know it, it's like when the, when I spoke to the fellows that I spoke to in uh, November of 2007, they said this is going to give you your life back. And you always take something like that with a grain of salt, you know. But at three more than, you know three plus years <clears throat> since I've had the implant, they hit it right on the head. They were absolutely right. It's exactly what it did, you know. And you know it's it, I can't you can't explain. Not only the physical aspect of it, but you know the the effect on your psyche, and I mean it's just it's just a wonderful thing.